What's up, Nail Geeks? Today I have Poetry Cowgirls Metals and Rhinestones collection to show you guys today. This is her new spring collection and it is available now on her site as well as her PolishCon overpours, which if you haven't checked out my video for that yet, I highly recommend you guys looking at it. It's amazing and they're super sparkly and some of them kind of go along with this collection. So definitely check that out. First up is Rosé All Day. Official description is a rich metallic rose gold with added sparkle. So the formula on this one feels medium to somewhat light to me. It builds very quickly on the nail and for full opacity, I'm gonna say three coats for this, um, just to really give you that nice plump coverage that I'm usually going for in my swatches. I would pretty much consider the base color to this one a very metallic -y rose gold. Um, and there is a bit of a very soft, delicate sparkle overall in this one. I feel like you can probably see it in the full hand shot coming up here in just a moment. Um, though I do feel like it was being a touch shy on my blog shots. So just throwing it out there, there is a very soft sparkle overall. Personally, I would recommend going in with a slightly light touch on your brush strokes. This one has really nice self leveling tendencies to it and you'll get lovely coverage overall and you'll reduce any streaking from the brush. On the full hand shot here, you're seeing a glossy top coat. Next is Head in the Clouds. This is a pale dove gray cream packed with red to gold Aurora shifting shimmer and scattered hollow. I really, really liked this one. So I definitely agree with the description that um, a true dove gray, in my opinion, it's just slightly flirting with being a stark white, um, but definitely has a great undertone to it. So in person, this is very, very strong with the Aurora shimmer here. It mostly comes off as a strong red in bright lights as you're seeing here. And on angles, you'll see it come across as that lovely gold appearance on shift. Um, I do feel like the video is showing you a better representation than what my swatches were. I feel like the shimmer was being a little more shy. I feel like whenever I'm doing a lighter color with Aurora shimmer in it, I feel like my camera just kind of freaks out at the light base. So just throwing it out there, it's definitely apparent, apparent in person and very strong. And the holographic effect here, um, definitely scattered. It's a nice soft appearance in person. Just overall a very delicate shade. This one also has very nice self-leveling tendencies and I would, I would personally recommend going in with a glossy top coat to really make that shimmer just pop like crazy as well as have that scattered hollow kind of pop as well. Next we have blush. This is described as a full coverage rose gold micro glitter with maroon to orange to plum shifting shimmer. So if you saw my video on the Polish Con Nola overpours for Poetry Cowgirl, she does have a limited edition that is essentially a really vamped up version of this one. So in my video there, this is the one I was referring to. So this is a lovely ultra sparkly rose gold. Very, very nice. I am a huge fan of full coverage glitters and I can safely say as this is the second set that I've swatched for her, she definitely brings it with the full coverage. So you don't need to sponge and in between two and three coats, you're gonna have full coverage instantly across your nail. So as you're seeing here on the second coat, I'm having very nice coverage overall and I'm good to go. Now I will also note that I'm using my normal um, top coat that I'm always using in my videos from Night Owl and I went in normal on this one. I didn't need to go in any heavier or anything like that and I had no texture whatsoever. Overall, I would recommend the glossy top coat as it will make this one sparkle like crazy on the nail. Next is Rhinestone Cowgirl. Official description is a full coverage lavender micro glitter with aqua to green to gold shifting shimmer. So once again, we have a lovely full coverage glitter here as well. I'm gonna say on this one as well as blush, I would say that two to three coats and you're gonna be smooth sailing. So here on that first coat, you're already seeing that lovely buildup happening. Um, both of them, this one and the previous, have very nice shimmer as well. Um, in person on this one, you'll see that green and aqua type of glow in between the glitter. It's very, very pretty. Um, this one is crazy sparkly as well. Um, I think my camera was freaking out a little bit on my video. It was just super sparkly. So here I'm going to recommend a glossy top coat as well, just to really make it pop. And you'll see that very glowing appearance with the shimmer. 
and just overall this is this is crazy sparkly <laughs> this is i really really enjoyed this one um so definitely glossy top coat i didn't feel the need to go in heavy or anything with my top coat um, and I had no texture problems or anything with this one. So I was good to go after just normal top coating. And finally, we have Bashful. Official description is a sweet pale pink metallic with scattered hollow pigment. So this one is very similar to Rosé All Day in that it does build up quickly on the nail. Um, and I would also say between two and three coats for full opacity. It does have a really nice self-leveling to it, though I will just say... Um, go a little bit soft on your brush strokes just to reduce any streaking. This one does have a really strong vintage-like vibe as the um, previous shimmer metallic in the collection. And there is a sat scattered soft holographic sparkle across the nail as well. So really, really nice. I almost feel like the base color to this one is kind of flirting with being a pinky like a, like champagne. In my opinion, it's Almost, I, I really feel like this one would make a fantastic wedding color, to be honest. It's very, very pretty, very metallic, very soft, and just elegant is how I would describe it. So even if you've got warm tones to your skin tone, as you can see here, I felt like it popped on me just fine. It was almost like I said, like a pinky champagne flirting a bit with being a metallic neutral, in my opinion. So after top coating, no texture whatsoever here, and I was good to go. Now the Metals and Rhinestones collection is currently available on the site right now. They are 10 a piece or 45 for the set. I will link you guys below to Poetry, Poetry Cowgirl's website as well as my blog post if you'd like a written review as well as additional swatches. As always, if you enjoyed the video, please like and subscribe. Thank you so much for watching.